Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. And today we're in game with Skeggy Media. And I'm going to head over to Penwell Island to do some treasure hunting. So we've got Penwell Island over here. And we've got Janiford over here. Let's bring up the map so we can see the locations on the map just outside Jade Mountains. So that puts us down here, in the South Pelagius region of the map. Now we've got to use this boat here, and that will take us to this island. And then from this island we've just got to take the red boat. And then that will take us over to Penwa Island. Now unfortunately this island hasn't yet got a map whilst making this video. So but we're here to do a bit of treasure hunting. So I'm gonna show you the the end of the puzzle because it will make it clearer if we do that. So we've just got to go over to this hole in the rock over here. We've got to go just the other side of it. Zoom back with the character. And let's say this island has been raided by pirates. Pirates have taken over. So there's some ruined pirate ships and we've got some other pirates around. We will be fighting them later. And just round here we can see we've got a skeleton sitting in a chair. just want to make you aware of these traps. You'll see them dotted around. I will show you each of the traps. They are quite very strong traps. You will probably die if you step on them. Now here we have a incomplete skeleton. So we need to find two arms, a head, and a leg. Now one of the items is just down here, one of the arms. So we'll be coming back here so I'll pick it up then. So that's what we're coming here to do. So let's go and we need to get some keys and there are some clues along the way. Now there are some black pearl in the area, best to harvest at night time. And I will be editing out a lot of the combat in this. Thing. Move through this one. Right, so we're just coming up onto the beach area. down. And, oh, of course we'll double click on it. Oh, you can shop them up there. Right, so let's get this archer first. loot and let's see if I can remember where all the clues are now, the first clues in this room again there is a trap there so be careful when you enter it we have another trap here and you have a pirate that's fallen on his own trap over here now one of the clues we've got is we've got a note here that tells us you've stowed your booty at hog roast time. Later on I'll show you a clue that tells us that hog roast time is 7 o'clock. 
And on the map here, you can see if you count these round, there are 12 points, which obviously it's a clock face. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it looks a little bit like a cross, but um, that's where the chest is buried. And it happens to be where we came in as well. So it's very close to where we came in. It's the last chest that we will be picking up on. And for that chest, we will need this key here. So we've got our first key and our first clue. And our next, well, the next place that we need to go to, there it is, was on this one. Got a little note here. Hog roast time, 7 o'clock, 3rd here. So that's where the note is. Now the next place we need to go to, and it's the place where you get all the information for the puzzle, is just in this room in here. And we find a book. And it talks about some chairs treasure and I'm just making certain it talks about the crow's nest you can't see it in there but you can take the book it also gives you another map clue over here to where one of the chests are so we can zoom in a bit you can see there's a tree here and some kind of mountain, something that looks like a broken log going up. So we'll be finding that a little bit later. Now what we've got to do is we've got to go up into the crow's nest. So we've got to get up here. As you can see there's a jumping point here. So we've got to do a bit of roof jumping, which our first point of call is to jump over here. It's this scaffold here, then we're going to go up the fence. Let me just deal with, well, I don't know if we need to deal with him really. Then we're going to go a jump and just pause a bit. Jump and pause a bit. I'm not very good at these jumping puzzles, even though I've done this a few times. And we're going to go up to this log or beam to the end. And we're going to jump and we're going to get in. And just over here, we can see our next key. There's two keys, and then from here we can jump down. That's a good idea if you've got safe falling, if not, jump on the roofs. And we need to head over to the ruined boat over here. And be aware that there are some skeletons up here which you can attack. We will just be skirting around the edge here and we can see a fallen foe here and if we loot him he gives us our third key. Now up for our first chest I'm going to try and point these out as best as I can. So we're heading up across the shoreline here. And you know when you're getting close to it, because it is protected by a boar. This is where one of the chests are. Now you will need to deal with the boars. This character doesn't have it, but I have seen the best, one of the best ways to deal with the boars uh, to stop them from pushing you and 
that's done in, is to use the ice field. He really stops them from getting their charges. This character doesn't have the ability, but I did find it rather interesting and have tried it with one of my characters. Now, one of the clues was there was a tree with a sort of tree over here, broken log, and thing. So and it pointed that it is all the chests are hidden. You have to get close to the area, and then you should get a green arrow up here. I've got to find it myself. There we go. Now we know that the green arrow is here. Now if I step a few more steps away, you will notice that we can't find it. So you do need to get close to them before you're able to see them. So just in this patch of sand, it says sand. And then we're just going to around to the front, keyhole, put the key in, and we can open up the chest, and we can see we've got the strange skull, so we'll take that, and our next one, there's two up here, we are just going to be running along the edge of the cliff up here, And we're looking for a waterfall. Now we're going to go past the large balls until we have to fight them. Might get stunned so we can jump out of that. And just up here by where the rivers are. There's an elven camp over here, is another point of reference. Those balls should leave me alone in a minute as I jump across the gorge here to the next area. There we go. And our point of reference for the next chest is just up here. There will be a load of balls. And you want to take your time and see I'm getting pushed by a lot of them. So there we have pretty much most of the balls in the area dealt with. So we'll go back and we will just point out the waterfall. Now what we need to do is we need to head to this tree here and we need to go just up and behind it. have trouble with this but I do get there in the end and when we're on the top area let's just see what boars we've got to fight and we will need to clear the boars else they'll just stop they'll just push you away from the treasure right now we've got our boars dealt with again we've got to get close to it but our key point of reference here is actually this droopy tree. Um, the clue for this is a big cross and at the top of the cross if you do find the clue. Um, but I never did quite understand it. You've got another bunch of trees up here. It's big stacks up there but from this tree you're looking for this patch of sand here. And again getting close to this patch of sand you should find a green marker which says sand, if you double click on it and remember you'll have to be close to these, this location before you're able to see the green arrow and I'm going to put the key in open up the chest we find, we find a strange skeletal left lower leg so now I've got another piece. Now what I've got to do is find a safe way down. Let's see if I 
however you find your way down, you want to go back to where we came in the map. So here we are, where we came in. And this time we're just going to head around the coast just a short way. I've got my location right. Again, should see the boat here. It's kind of, it's hard to say. It's slightly discoloured, but you know, um, up here you've got a sand elemental, which is normally there. It's his normal spawn point. But I can't see. You've got the boat over here. It's very hard to give any reference to this. And again, we can see the green marker there as we're close to it. And again, I just want to show you if we actually step about three or four steps away, we can't see the green marker at all. You must be close to it before you can see it. So I'm going to double click on it and come out of the ground. And then we can double click on it again, put the key in, and we can loot the chest. And we get the strange skeletal right forearm. So now we've got all of the pieces we need, we need to head back to the little arch in the over there. So just head over there. And up we come. Now we're gonna have a bit of combat round here. And one, that's good. Now I'm gonna use arrows for this attack. Again because of the trap. And I don't want to fall into it. Now we've got rid of all of our pirates. Let's make certain there's not another one. Be careful of this trap again. We are going to pick up our last limb. Zoom in here so we can see the last limb here, which I show, showed you before pointed out to you before. So now we've got all of the limbs on us. Now all we need to do is just put the skeleton together. So we'll just double click on each of the points. Arm, finally the head, and then the manifestation of Captain, the ghost of Captain Kennet. Now it's a good idea to pull him back a bit if you can. So don't get caught in a trap. And I'm going to change the mace because it's my most effective weapon. And just like with ghosts, just keep on hitting until it goes down with whatever you've got. And there he goes. Then when you do that, you'll see two chests appear up here. Okay, so just looted him. Now, I just want to go and check to see if I can loot this one. Now, because I've already done this video, done this puzzle once, because you can do this puzzle as many times as you like, if you've looted this chest over here, you can't loot it again. So let me just bring up a picture of what you should see in it. So you should see Captain's uh, treasure in this chest over here. So, and in that is a lot of gold and some other random loot. So that's what will appear in that chest over there, on the left hand side. And on the right hand side you'll get loads of gems and a few other items in that chest. So that is the quest for the, for the treasure hunt on Penoir Island. And I hope you found the video helpful and informative. And of course you can subscribe to me here on YouTube and you can follow me on Twitch to help me grow those channels. Also feel free to leave any comments in the comments area and I will get back to you. And thank you for watching.